What's up guys, Retro Django here. In today's video, it's gonna be all about how cool it must have been to have a Commodore 128D back in 1986. Everything is from 1986 on this video. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to copy single files, few games from a disk. Now this is just pure awesomeness. There we go. So on this, we're gonna check one game from this disc, right? What we're going to do, we're going to imagine it's 1986 and we have this power cartridge from 1985 that works on the Commodore 64 and Commodore 128 and it's so beautiful and it's inserted and it's just so nice. We're gonna check this beautiful disc 3m disc this is the command for formatting a disc when i with this cartridge inserted when i press f1 it will list the cartridge if when i press f3 it will run when i press f7 it will show me what this cartridge has inside and when i press f5 it will load the file that's up at the top okay this one let me see to get everything now you do <laughs> i just love this program i'm gonna choose 1541 okay i uh, i know this is the 128 but we're gonna choose the 1541 because most of you use the 1541 now, if I want to copy a disk, I can do it with the fast copy. We have some different stuff, but on this disk, on this fast Hackem 3.0a, we have got a file copier. So I press I, and it will load for a second over here. And we have got this single file Hackem loaded, which is nice. Now, I'm going to check this disk. So I can press D for directory. Let's see, Preben is 662 blocks free. So this disk is empty, right? On this disk, we have got what inside? Let's go in and check it with this beautiful file manager stuff. So I can, I can uh, scratch a file. I can just remove one file. I can press first D and I can see, oh, Cobra. I want to take a backup of that Cobra. I don't, I don't like this cover, but I like this brand new looking disc with this brand new looking cover. That's beautiful. So what are we going to do? We're going to press uh, where we can initialize, we can format disc. We can uh, remove one of the games on the disc or we can copy one file. Look at how cool it is. It's reading the, the directory and I can go to the side, West Bank, no. I will take a back off, back up of Cobra. So I press space, then it's on. I can go down and take Future Night also, but nah, I will just take Cobra. All right, press enter. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. And it starts reading the blocks. It was 200 something. And you can see buffer. It will go up to 200 and I, I didn't check how much it was, but... Um, it's so cool because I can take ugly discs like this that, and from here I can take Crack Out, that's one of my favorite games and I can, you know, give these discs to the next guy and keep the games that I love on beautiful discs like this. So let's insert this one. It wanted the destination disc and it will just copy the files over and I didn't have a floppy drive back then. None of my friends have a floppy drive back then. It must have been amazing back in 1986 owning a Commodore 128D with a built-in floppy drive and could borrow a disk from your friend. Look at this. Copy completed. Let's check out the directory. It has got Cobra inside it. We can reset or we can turn it completely off. And on. I have opened the drive for, uh, because I want to uh, clean the head but uh, look at this it was just it looked like brand new inside so yeah we'll put this one in we'll press F7 
And look at this, it has got Cobra. We'll press F5. We don't want to ride the load command. That was fast. We will press F3. That's I, I just love the design of this. Just. Wow. Isn't it cool that you can copy single file programs with this beautiful fast hacking program? This is the version 3.0, but I think it's just amazing that you can you that 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 the Commodore 64 had some sort of file browser like Norton Commando on the MS DOS times and yeah you know how it is today but yeah back in 86 all this was possible with a Commodore 128D with this amazing power cartridge that I really really love. This one has got some sort of backup tool included also. I don't know, I just like that fast hacking man. It's, it's awesome. So I wanna say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Let's check out the other side. Let's see if I should copy something from here. Oh, look at that. We have got Crack out! Such a cool game. Karma 8. There we go. Let it load and I'll be back. That was fast. F3. Run. I, just, I, I love that you can just press on the F whatever and it will make T for trainer. That's nice. Alright. go yeah oh, I love this game it was my favorite game when I was a little kid uh, but this is not level one I don't know what why it's like this. oh guys crack out go in and try it out it's so cool for the Commodore 64 dash 128 it's an awesome game Down -down 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 -down. So I'm having so much fun, man. I'm having fun like it was 1986. So this is nice. Whoop, no, I lost the M. Hey, I took that skull that will... Uh, oh, 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 oh. Nope. Get up here. Oh, there we go. No, did you see that that was the skull again? But it died. Stay in there, man. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard game. Come on, go in there. <laughs> no. That's about it. I wish you all a great day, guys. Bye. I thought I got extra life for those hearts, but no. Guys, go ahead, watch something else. The video's over. If you're still here, just push that thumbs up button. I would be happy. Bye.